Hello and welcome. My name's Necro, and today, instead of our usual scheduled broadcasting, we've got a special for you. So, I got access to the Jump Force beta. I'm not going to go into details how, let's just say it's, it's not a good story. But anyway, so I've got access to the beta. This is not the first um, viewing of the beta. No, that's not the right word. The, the first open thing. They set it up into time slots. And for reasons, I couldn't do the first two time slots. But hopefully that means that some of the bugs are ironed out before I give you my look at the game. Now, this is actually the first part I've done with this. I mean, I've signed the terms and conditions stuff that always comes up just because I didn't want to have to show all that. And because I actually sometimes read that stuff like a maniac. So here we are. It is literally starting as I'm speaking this. It's, you know, the time this one occurs. Give or take a minute. Well, I'm probably giving them a minute. Whatever. No, wait, no, I'm taking them. Again, whatever. So here we go. So I've just had a flick through before just to see what the avatars are. But that's absolutely it. So let's have another quick flick through. Kind of cool to let's pick them. Or maybe we can change them. You know what? I'm a Dragon Ball fan. So let's try it first. Actually, no, let's have a quick. I gotta say, number three looks pretty cool. Let's try number three, actually. See if we can alter it. If we can, then that's awesome. If not, I might just play four number... Actually, no, number two could be cool. <clears throat> so, I'm assuming if we can't edit, which actually would make sense because this is a beta i'm assuming this is just preset avatars they've created just so we get a feel for the independent bit because i've heard that we actually get our own avatars in this game which is pretty cool a little bit like xenoverse i imagine except it's potentially the craziest fucking just crossover ever eat your heart out infinity war funny enough actually this is an anniversary project as well though I mean, this is supposed to be for the 50th anniversary of the Jump Force magazine. And so they're just mixing up as much manga as they can, which is, you know, cool, fun. I mean, I guarantee there's going to be a shit ton of stuff that will go against normal anime rules. But if there's one thing I've learned watching anime, it's that, you know, you can change the rules on the fly. But then again, I don't watch a lot of it, so. I mean, I watch a fair amount, but I mainly just stick to, like, if I find a good series, I'll stick to it. I'm not hugely into it, but I'm not also unaware of it. Someone do that for me! I'm just gonna have a quick run around, see what this place is. Hmm. Oh, it's a cool background. So, this is the hub world. It's nice. People are probably going to disagree with me, but I do hope in the story for this game they don't just have skip to, oh hey, everybody already knows each other, because it's just no thanks. Alright, I'm not going to start off online, I'm going to start off off, oh wait, that's still online. Damn it, it's all online! 
Where is offline? Oh, missions. Let's see what that is. Or if that's even available. Fair enough. So where, oh where, is the offline battles? Alright, I guess online it is. Oh, it's, oh, right, right, that makes sense. Alright, let's see who we got. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce half these names. Because I will just sound like a fucking dumbass. I do not have the linguistic... No, tongue skills. <laughs> no, linguistic skills, that tongue's better. Boo, Vegeta, boo. You suck. You know what, let's go Freezer. I'll go wrong with Freezer. Uh, I'm assuming with a face like that, he's bad. Actually, no, I think he's good. Oh, I don't know. No, oh, he could go either way. No, I don't think Pegasus would be a bad guy. He doesn't... There isn't a oh wait no there is X. There we go. Let's just go full random for the enemy. Please I hope it's not all Goku. Let's find Namek. This should be fun. It's a shame they didn't add the Yu-Gi-Oh characters yet. I mean, to the beta. I mean, I saw they're going to be in it, and yes, it's fucking ridiculous, but... Again, this is an anime crossover. I mean, animes are... Very... Specific to their own universes, I find. It, it's, it's not like... Well, again, I suppose I can't really make a generalization because anime is so huge, but... From what I've seen, animes are very specific to, like, you know, developing their own universe rules. Whereas other stuff tends to borrow more rules from reality, I suppose. I mean, it's still off the wall and crazy, but it tends to, you know, have similar limits. Whereas, you know, in animes, you can like have, you can have like, oh, hey, everyone can just break the moon. And now it's like saying, oh, no, we're only half as powerful as that or whatever. Gosh. Freezer is so creepy looking like that. And that guy's a bit creepy too, but still. This hyper realism is so weird for anime. Oh crap. Okay, so B is heavy attack. Y is. I'm, I'm guessing medium. A to jump. That's usual. And X would be light attacks. And I cannot fly, but that does make sense, because otherwise characters like Freezer and Goku and all them would have a bit of an advantage. Oh crap. Oh crap, what was that tip about escaping? What did I do there? I so wish I knew- oh wait no, maybe that's a control list. No, that doesn't. Oh, wait, yeah, there you go. Ah, oh, okay, that makes more sense. Okay, R B to guard, R T to enemy charge. Oh, energy charge, sorry. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, so it's... Oh, they share health. That's interesting. <laughs> he said money. Oh, you Fuck. That was interesting. <laughs> I gotta say the damage animation is very good. I have no fucking idea what I'm doing, but... Alright, that, uh, that went well. Alright, uh, I'll try that again. So I'm assuming they're having a mode, actually I think I've heard of this, there's supposed to be a mode where it's 3v3, like in a proper sense of the word. Let's try the Matterhorn. See, so yeah, I'm going to do a quite a few against the computer first. Might not be as exciting, but honestly, I... I mean, even when I'm experienced with fighting games, I still find them quite challenging. They're quite a tricky one online. They're not my strongest genre. I like RPGs. I mean, I think that's my strongest genre. Yeah, for me, RPGs are like a good book. Fighting games are fun, but I don't really go in serious. I don't really feel there's a lot of strategy to them. I feel it's very much the person with the fastest reflexes will always win, and that's a tough one. Oh no! Jeez, who the hell is that weird guy with spades on him? Aha! Ooh, what the frickity frack was that? Okay, I probably should have capitalized on that the second time. Fucking hell, this guy's crazy. Fucking dodge! Why do I switch hands again? Oh! I, got, I gotta love that LT thing, the co op attacks. Come on, Hap. Come on, change. Come on, this is the change button.
Damn, that guy's good at dodging. Go, Goku! Oh, there we go. Now I swapped. What the fuck did I do that? Who needs a combo of buttons? I'm gonna, I'm gonna check again very quickly. I know I've already checked, but... I should see what everything is, so... Whoops. So yeah, move is normal, normal, I mean that's... Yeah, I've pressed LT a bunch, maybe I have to hold it. That would make more sense. No, that still didn't change. No, I'm... Okay, I get it. I've got to summon them first with LT, and then I get to do that. The gameplay feels a bit odd, but that could be because I've played Xenoverse and I'm, you know, used to a different style of gameplay. But honestly, those graphics are fucking amazing. I mean, this thing is a real visual treat. And it cannot be easy for Bandai Namco to actually make a game that's going to have a good visual style that people are all going to like. Because I guarantee there are going to be people who do not like this. Like, it's looking at Freezer, I thought, if I was, oh gosh, what the fuck. Look, then again, maybe that's what you're supposed to look at when you see Freezer, instead of the just very weird creature you get now. But I, I, think you, I think they've done well. I think they've done well getting this art style. I think it is very good, and so far, from what I've seen the characters, it the hyper-realism works. I mean, I think if they didn't go hyper-realistic, then... Honestly... It, it might be like a favoritism thing. I feel like hyper-realism is the only thing they could do that wouldn't result in like accusations of, oh, this is favoring a certain group of anime characters or something. I mean, yes, there are going to be some that look better in this than others. That's just a that's just a fact. But still, top notch so far. Still, I am really looking forward to seeing what else is here. Jeez, it's always against him. I'm going to have to pick an enemy next time. Fuck you, Frieza! Oh my god! Okay, I did not awaken, said I got a punch in the face. Oh, and this time I changed. How odd. Maybe the problem is that I'm holding it. Maybe I'm just supposed to give it a quick tap. Maybe holding it is just for the attack instead. Come on, transform!
I'm checking that again. I do apologize for the amount of times I'm doing this, but honestly, I don't understand why I'm not transforming. Or awakening, at least. Yep, yeah, right stick. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, that was just a dash. Wait, I hit left stick. I'm sorry, no, I hit right stick. Isn't dash right, uh, left stick? Oh, I can do it, I can do it. Hoo-hoo. Bet that hurts more than Trunk Sword. Suck at Mortal Kombat. this guy <laughs> I love the I love how they run Alright, one more, and then I'm going to try a quick match. Alright, the only map we haven't done is New York. Animes take place in New York for some reason. Jeez, I'm getting that blue screen a lot today. I mean, luckily, this this game is pretty. I don't even know what the phrase is. Just, it's not becoming a problem because I can just you know keep attacking with a combo. Ha ha ha! Freezer again. His head is so small. And his hair is so pointy. Ooh, I wonder if his um, if Freezer's awakening actually has him go golden. I mean, that would be cool. Oh, I love that the death source is still going. Oh. 
Death ball, death ball, death ball! Oh, hold on. Yes, I've awakened. Oh crap, so have they. There's not a very good range for the grabs. I feel they need to work in some kind of consequence though for losing the first one. Like I understand obviously fighting games must be best of three kind of thing, but honestly, given that you have three characters, I think it would work so much better if it was kind of a case of like maybe if a character goes, then you can't you can't use them in the next round kind of thing. Aha! Hit him. Slowly getting the hang of this. There we go. That's how I actually switch when I hit the L left stick. Ooh, here we go. I love they've got the right voice actors for this. Ah. Get out of the eyes! Get a gun! Now, final flash! Oh, I love it, he transforms Super Saiyan. Oh, is she still going? Oh, she's not. Okay, I, f I like that. <laughs> I do like it. I mean, I am I am not 100% on the controls right now, and it is still a bit confusing, but honestly, I'm enjoying this. This is actually a really exciting fighting game. And honestly, I really dig that it's not a 2, 2D or 2.5D. That's proper three dimensions. And I can't believe I just said dig. <laughs> but, you know, point stands. I mean, I like that it's kind of... Not as much, but it's got like a level of maneuverability similar to Xenoverse, but at the same time, by having the map smaller and by not allowing you to fly, or at least not fly around, like you can fly as an attack sort of thing, but not as movement, I think it keeps it fast paced, while at the same time not too constrain yeah, constrained. And honestly, I would love to try out a 3v3 that isn't one person at a time. But anyway, here we go. I am going to try. Uh, I've tried all the maps now. Yeah, let's try to try the map on. Practice battle. Yeah, why not? I'm guessing this is why it's match makes, which fair enough. More time to get my skills, more time for you guys to just see random crap. What's not to love? Yeah, 
Your teeth are so gross. Oh, never mind. We've got a game. Oh, I love it. Freezer Viva Cheetah. So far, I think the one thing this game needs, aside from that 3v3 thing I mentioned, which to be fair, I think they have announced that's a thing. I think it's just a case it's not in the beta. And again, this might actually be a thing in the game, but it's just not in the beta, is dialogue between characters that are from the same anime. Like, you know, specific conversations. Like, when, say, Goku vs. Vegeta, they talk about having, you know, fought before or something like that. Or Naruto and Satama, I think you pronounce it that way. I'm really bad at pronunciations. Like, conversation between them about the stuff they've done. I mean, quite a few fighting games work it in, so I'd be surprised if Jump Force doesn't. And they probably will, but it would be cool to see. It would also be cool if we could see the actual fight instead of just this communicating thing. Again though, this is a beta, and I mean they even said when we started that they are working through some of the bugs and such. But I am going to try and get at least one matchmaking fight into this. I mean I'll probably get my ass handed to me, but you know what? At least I'm honest. And at least you guys can see me fighting there giving it my all, and getting horribly sucker punched in the gut while I do it. But I don't think this will be the one, because this is... This is a lot of communicating. Oh, here we go. She's only just about to quit. Round one. Fight! Oh, damn, this is... I can't even tell if this is the servers or just... me and this guy, because... it's very possible it's just me and one person that are having a bad connection. Oh, that's... That, that's really bad. You know, if, oh crap. You know, if it wasn't so flaky, it'd actually be really cool to see a slow motion fight like that. Ha! Shit, that guy's good. Or I'm just not very good. I can't tell if I- Ah, fuck you! Fuck, 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 fuck! You step bow! Ah, this guy loves the slashes. I don't, I don't quite. Oh crap! Yep, this is the end for me. Oh, so much. Again? Oh gosh, if this if this wins, I mean it's it's a douchebag tactic on my part. But if it wins, oh what? He didn't take any damage. Fear the cl oh oh well. I don't know why I didn't take damage though. Why am I running? Ah, 
No, don't. Ugh. Oh, here we go. Ah, fuck you. I don't find out why that. Oh no, not the blue screen. I'm actually winning this one, I think. Well, I was until that. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on. Fuck. Fuck. Come on. Hit him with that... Hit him with that bullshit he hit me with. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't know you could block those. Or not block, but... Ah, come on. Credit what credit's due. This guy's good at switching his characters up. Ooh. Oh! Okay, you know what? This guy's the better fighter than me, but... I... I... I think that went well. I think that was a good move on my part, at least. Oh crap, oh crap. Do something. Oh fuck. Come on. Switch. Damn, he's good with Satama. Come on, hit, hit that. Oh right, yeah, that's... Fuck! He... How does he block that? Ah, oh, he's gonna beat me. You know what, feck it, he's better than me. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna whine or say, oh, cheat. Because no, he is. This guy knows what he's doing. Come on! I might not win, but I wanted to look close. What does that do? What, how did that help me? Come on! Oh. That was close. So close. He was clever though to use that switch trick on me. I mean, it's not really a trick, but you know what I mean. Like that switch tactic. You know what? I take it back. About, not about all fighting games, but this one. I think that switch ability does give a tactical edge to it. So yeah, there was my online fights. I didn't win, but you know what? I think I did better than just getting my ass handed to me, so... I'd, I'd say that was a good fight. You know? I mean, I'd say maybe one or two more good punches and I could have been the winner. So I think really, you know, very close. Very tense. Like an anime. Hi, Goku.
peculiar map or peculiar world. Cool looking though. I'd love to know what those squares are meant to be. So there we have it. That's the Jump Force Special. I've given everything a try, including both types of battle. And I'm just going to give one last lap through the hub world, actually. Just one final thing to show as I give my final thoughts on it. Because I have to say, I really did like this. I think obviously some things do need work, like their matchmaking. I say that half-heartedly though, because for all I know, that was actually me connecting to them or them connecting to me. There's no guarantees of steps with server. And again, it's a beta. Right, they're not gonna have the highest of quality servers on a beta. Betas are about stress test yeah, stress testing. They're designed to have problems in them, so that obviously the developers can see, oh, we might have a problem with this later on. But you know, the gameplay's solid. The graphics are very good. The animation style I'm freaking in love with. And I will say that the brief bit of music I've been able to hear in this really does hit all the right notes for me. I think honestly gameplay is pretty fun. I think honestly they've hit the they've hit a really good mix for their fighting fighting gameplay style. And I mean all we have really left to see, I suppose, outside the beta is obviously story. Um, other modes to see what else they're going to be working into this game. What sort of role the custom creator characters are going to have. And I suppose finally interacting with more than one player at a time. Which I am certain that's a thing. I am 90% certain. If it is, awesome. If not, well I think that'd be a missed opportunity on their part. But regardless, very fun gameplay so far. And this, I really feel, is just a sliver of it. You know, only getting to play a few characters so far. So. Oh, one more thing, obviously. The maps. I like what they're doing. I like how they're mixing in not just styles amongst the anime, wo an anime worlds, but also a couple real world locations. I mean, obviously the real world doesn't have, like, freaking spaceships in it. That we know of. But still, lovely. Lovely art style, lovely world building, so very exciting, and I think this beta might have actually convinced me to, you know, pre-order. So that's it for me, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, favourite, all that jazz if you enjoyed, and for those of you that didn't get a chance to try out the beta this time, I hope you get a, ch I hope you get a chance in the future, because I would highly recommend, it's a good bit of fun, and it's really got me excited for the full release. So anyway, thanks again for watching, and have a great day. Goodbye.